Welcome in Project Design I.O. In here, we will continue with the basic electrical system and resolve all the errors. If you have access to exercise files, navigate to the folder and open the indicated model from the previous lesson. Go to Calculation tab and press Calculate. As you can see, we've got a few errors in here. Let's just move that window a little bit. Let's start from this error here. Disconnection, maximum permissible time. Okay. If you see this error on any submain circuit, what you should check first is whether you carried out your installation using auto settings. So let's fix the design first. Now let's see what upstream cables we have and what supply settings we have, because most likely this error here is a result of what's happening upstream. So first of all, let's zoom in and check what cable we have feeding the main switchboard. 2.5 mil. <laughs> Obviously that's not realistic and we need to set this up correctly, otherwise we'll end up with problems. So I cancel that for now and then I go to transformer first. Right, what transformer do we have? Fault conditions, 1000 kVA transformer. What's that? About 1400 amps protection, a 16 amp fuse. Again, that's not realistic. So let's let's change this. So I'll go to a Schneider NW type ACB, and if we got 1400 amp supply, I will choose 1600 amp protective device. 1600 amp trip. I will set manually to say the rating of our transformer. In this instance. I think it's 400 to 440. Actually, no, let's change it to less. Let's change it to 1280 and apply, press OK. Now I'm going to click the cable. If you go to protection in here, this is the same protection you just set at the transformer level. This is the same device, basically. Let's go back to cable type. Right, this is not going to be multi-core cable. That's going to be single core AWA. So I'm going to type in non, non-magnetic and I will have single core 70 degree and 90 degree. Okay, let's just go for 70 degree at the moment. Cable ladder and on a ladder, flat touching. Now, what cable size you go for? First of all, you need to take into account what the supplier, like UKPN, would actually allow you to do. So in here, I've got a document guidance from UKPN. This is what they will accept on say 1600 amp incoming supply. They will accept 300 mil cables or maximum eight number 400 mil cables. That is two per phase. So you can't go higher because you will not be able to terminate the cable physically at the upstream. Let's see uh, what's the current capacity 618. That would be what 1236 amps, which is below our 1280 that's no good okay what's if we change the configuration what if i go three foil 657 if i've got two cables that will give me 1314 amps okay that's more like it i think that may work let's go for that i'll go grouping i'm not gonna have them cables group with any other circuits i will have them in parallel and I will have two cables. I will end up with uh, applying grouping factor of 0.97. So if I've got the cable rated at 657 amp, let's bring a calculator, 657, two cables times two. And now I need to derate that cable by 97, right? So times 0.97. That gives me 1274. So it's not quite what I need because the uh, protection is set at 1280. So just to prove that this will not work, let's see. I'm gonna okay that and I'm gonna calculate. There we go, the cable is underrated, it's too small. The options now I have, change the setting of protection device. I can manually change the settings here. So let's go try that. I go to 1120 and then apply that. Now this error will go away if I calculate. Happy days, that's good now. But what if you can't do that? Maybe you, you do need that 1280 or maybe even more. So let me go back 
and I change the protection as it was to 1280 and go to cable. So obviously I can't have more cables. What can I do? I can change method of installation. Let's see, 657 in trefoil. What if I have them horizontal space? 674. That will probably will be okay. 674. Let's see, 674 times 2 times 0.97. Yeah, that will work. Let's have a look. Okay, that and calculate. Now it works. So you know, you have to choose a method of installation to ensure the current capacity of the cable is sufficient. The alternative is change the cable type because I've chosen 70 degree uh, and I've done that for a reason because most of the equipment is rated 70 degree. But if you can prove that your equipment, the cables are connected to, is actually rated 90 degree, you can go for this cable. And the, the current capacity of that 90 degree cable is much more, 767. So yeah, I can go back to trefoil, for example, or probably even flat uh, touching, and that will work. Okay, so let let me do that. I, I use I use for this exercise. I use this 90 degree cable. I will go for separate CPC, and I will go the half size of the phase conductor. In this case, I'll go for 400 mil, and okay that, and calculate. You see, I've got no problems now. This submain circuit 11,000. There is some warning. Let's check that. So don't go granule uh, into detail straight away. Check your submain distribution first. That's how you resolve errors, and only then look into final circuits. Otherwise, you'll be endlessly changing everything. So this is just an information that there is no five core uh, data available for the t selection of the cable. What cable did we select? Let's just click click on it 95 mil 5 core let's check yes indeed we got we went for 5 core okay let me look here on a some data from the manufacturers let's see if they do 95 mil 5 core 95 mil yes they do so okay i don't need to worry if this is my choice if this is what i want to do use a 5 5 core cable then I'm okay, I can ignore, this is just for information. Now, we've got some other errors in here. So circuit 7L1 in this distribution board, by the way, if you double click on any error, it will zoom in into the distribution board where the error is. So I just zoom out a little bit and double click on the disk board, circuit, let's just increase that and go 7L1. 7L1, general purpose sockets. What was the error? RCD is required. Yes, it is required. Let's see what the protection we have. Protection is MCB. So that's obviously wrong. For a general purpose sockets, I will have RCBO on commercial. I typically will go type C, 30 milliamp. If it's domestic or maybe hospital, it will be type B. In this instance, uh, type C, 30 milliamp, 32 amp. Okay, okay. And okay, and I'm gonna calculate just so you're trying to get rid of one unless you know what you're doing, then you can resolve few issues at the same time. But for this example, I'm only resolving one at a time. So seven and one should disappear. Good. Okay, all the other problems are related to the arc fault detection devices. So those are required in the high risk of residential buildings. As it says, or multi purpose student accommodation, care homes, and stuff like that. Let's say for our purpose, we have, don't have, let's say this is standard office, we don't need to worry about it. So I'm gonna go circuit 6L2, L3, and 7L1, I need to resolve. So let's go to the circuits, expand that six, and yeah, all those three in red. And they're all general purpose sockets. They're all RCD now. Good. It's load not in higher risk residential buildings, not in house multiple accommodation. So what you're gonna do, you just select, tick that box here it to indicate that this is not in those build types of buildings. Okay, and that will resolve the warning. One circuit, I'm gonna do the same. And in 701, 
and OK that, and calculate. Perfect, no errors. OK, this is just uh, information again. Doesn't really affect you. The calculations are st still compliant. All the circuits are healthy. Everything is good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.